Hello and welcome back to my channel. As stated in the previous video, we will be looking into how to manage your currencies properly and the various goodies in the stores. Big problem number one. Running out of LMD at the wrong time. Simply put LMD is an annoying piece of, LMD is a necessary currency for nearly everything in the game. Managing this currency is important as it is mainly used to upgrade your operators which gives a huge spike in the damage slash healing output of your operators. Do note that the amount of LMD required to upgrade your operators gets outrageously large as their levels and promotions increases. The best way to manage this currency is to, well, obtain a lot of this currency. The best way to obtain LMD is through your base productions. If you are going with a 2, 4, 3 base, set two of your factories to produce gold and the other two to produce drill battle records as well as your trading centers set under, precious metal orders, which looks like this. Use drones to regularly speed up the productions of the factories and trading centers, but make sure to look at your situation. For example, if you have a lot of gold in your inventory, choose to speed up your trading centers to obtain more orders to trade for LMD. If you have incomplete orders in your trading centers due to insufficient gold, speed up your factories for more gold. Speeding up the production of facilities as well as upgrading them requires drones. If your trading center and factories are at low levels, I recommend you to upgrade all of them to at least level 2 before speeding up. Also, having more power plants increases the maximum number of drones, which can be helpful. Zesh's Tips Do remember to spend all your drones in either speeding up or upgrading your facilities before you go to bed or taking a long break. This is to prevent the number of drones from capping out. Another way of obtaining LMD fast is through grinding the CE stages. These stages can be found by doing the following. These stages aren't really worth your sanity until about CE4 and CE5. CE1, 2 and 3 can be beneficial for early game but please don't farm them excessively or you'll lose your sanity in real life when you see yourself running out of in-game sanity. Stage CE5 costs 30 sanity for 7500 LMD. Yes, it is a lot. This sanity can be used to farm for other materials so do keep in mind the importance of not farming these stages excessively. This brings us to our big problem number 2. Sanity. You always hear other Arknights players going sanity this, sanity that, haha there goes my sanity, all for a good reason, if you have no sanity, you can't make any progress. Sanity is used in almost all stages, you want to farm for your rocks, sanity, you want to farm for your skill materials, sanity, you want to simp for your furry lolly waifu, go see a therapist, the point is, Managing your sanity is extremely important as it can greatly hinder your progress if not managed well. So, how to manage your sanity? It is quite simple actually. Focus on upgrading things one by one. For example, if you want all your facilities in your base to be at least level 2. To do this, you'll need building materials as well as LMD. This means you might have to farm for building materials here as well as LMD. Once you have decided, only farm for these materials. Under supplies in your combat terminal, you'll notice that the rotation for resource where your building materials is, is only open on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday while LMD is only open on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. This is good news as you can dedicate all your sanity to farming for building materials on Monday and when Tuesday comes, the building materials stages will be locked and you can then focus all your sanity in Tuesday for LMD. You just have to keep doing this until you have enough materials to upgrade all your facilities. 
This strategy can be applied to farming for the other materials. Simply put, dedicate yourself to accomplishing what you plan to do, such as gathering all the materials to promote an operator to Elite 2, and it'll feel extremely good after you get the results, I can promise you that. Zesh's tips. Just like the drones in your base, do remember to spend all your sanity before you go to bed or take a long break. This is to prevent your sanity from capping out. We are now halfway through the currency section. Now, big problem number three, Arundum. In my previous video I mixed up Originium and Arundum quite badly. Not this time. Arundum is your gacha currency. If you run out of it, it means no waifus or husbandos for you. Saving for Arundum can be tricky as getting it is rather difficult. You can only obtain it through daily and weekly missions as well as weekly annihilation, If you care about the meta, then pulling for the strong operators will be your priority. If you care about the kawaii level of the operators you have, then saving for the operator you like is your priority. In any case, the most important thing when it comes to gacha is saving for the character you like. If an operator that is extremely powerful or extremely sexy is coming up, stop pulling immediately and save up your precious arundum. In every banner, there is an offer where the first 10 pulls on the banner guarantees a 5-star or higher operator. The other guides would tell you to always pull on the banner by doing single pulls until you get the 5-star or higher operator, but not in this guide. Usually, you will be getting the 5-star or higher operator at your 10th pull, which means you'll usually have to do 10 pulls on every banner to claim the offer. That's a lot of arundum required and I don't think that's wise. Instead, you should watch guides on the banners first to determine the banner's worth. I will be making, should you pull on this banner, guides in the near future to help you guys with this so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. For example, the current standard banner is this. The displayed characters are having a rate up currently. While the 6 stars are extremely powerful, the 5 stars aren't that great. However, the fact that one of the rate up 6 stars is Surtur makes this banner quite good. But is it a must pull? Absolutely not. This is because Chen the Holungde, an absolutely broken 6 star, is about to be released soon, so it is best to save for her now. She will come near late January next year on a limited banner. We will be tackling banner types on the next video. Since Chen the Holungde is round the corner, I will do my best to release part 3 as quickly as possible while ensuring quality. Now, moving on to the final big problem. Originium. This is your limited currency. Only spend these on skins for your operators, and occasionally on some sanity. Now comes the question, should you purchase skins of operators you do not own? You can, but it is risky. You might not get the operator you bought the skin for in a long time. Heck you might not even get him or her entirely, so it is best to only buy the skins for the operators you own. Skins of operators are in rotation in the skin store. You cannot purchase a character's skin if it is not on sale in the store. Oh, and this is coming from someone who bought the skins for Surtur and Thorns even though he doesn't have either of them. Anyways, just don't buy too many skins for the operators you don't own. Now you might think why you'd ever want to buy skins for operators you don't own in the first place. This is because once the featured skin is no longer available, it will probably not be available in a long time. So if you see a skin of an operator you really like even if you do not own the operator, you might want to consider buying it. Phew. That was a lot, but we're not done yet. Now moving on to the in-depth shop guide. First, we have the commendation store, where its currency is the green cert. See the numbers 1, 2 and 3 here. These means phase 1, 2 and 3. You'll start at phase 1 and when you buy out everything in phase 1, phase 2 will automatically be unlocked. Your priority in Phase 1 is buying the two headhunting permits, followed by the Arundums, then the LMD. The rest can be bought at your own pace. The lowest priority item to buy is the furniture parts. Once you reach Phase 2, prioritize buying the headhunting permits, even though they are now super expensive. Next is purchasing the materials. The 3 and 4 star recruitment vouchers are also available but they cost a ton of green certs so don't buy them. 
Besides, you'll get a lot of 3 and 4 stars when doing your gacha. You almost never unlock phase 3 unless you are a whale who rips times 10 pulls like it is nothing. Phase 3 has only LMD and Arundum in it, at this point, it means you are probably a whale so just buy whatever. Secondly, we have the distinction store, where its currency is the gold cert. If you are free to play, save these up to buy the 6 star or 5 star operator here. Do not spend it on anything else, even the headhunting permits. Just be patient and save. Thirdly, we have the shop voucher store, where the currency is shop vouchers. Only buy the chip catalyst here. When you get a top tier vanguard operator like Bagpipe or a top tier supporter like Suzuran or Angelina, you might want to consider buying the royal tokens in the store. You might also want to pick up Ethan and Breeze though you'll probably rarely use them so buy them when you are at late game. In terms of usage, Ethan is used much more often than Breeze so do keep that in mind should you choose to buy and build one of them. Fourthly, we have the Headhunting Parametric Models Store. You should only buy the Tier 3 and Tier 4 materials here. Tier 3 materials have their borders in blue and Tier 4 materials have their borders in purple. Buying the Tier 3 and 4 materials are much more worth your parametric models. Moving on, we have the Intelligence Search Store. Just focus on buying out the Arundum first then buy the other materials you require. Lastly, the Credit Store. Gaviel and Durnar are available for purchase. Only after purchasing all the copies of Gaviel will Durnar be available. I would recommend buying these two operators as well as getting all the duplicates as credits are very easy to earn and you'll also get quite a lot of gold certs from buying the duplicates. To earn more credits, visit your friend's bases like this. Do try to purchase all the discounted items as they are extremely cheap. The shop refreshes every day and the goodies will restock randomly. To learn about how to obtain this currency, I explained it in the previous video so do check the video out. And we are done. That is all for the in-depth guide about currencies and stores. The next video will cover the banner types so do look forward to it. See you.